Hey everybody, I have to begin this video with a huge thank you because the channel hit another exponent and now has two to the 12 subscribers, which means it's time to make another play button using a new fabrication technique. I'm really excited about this one because tonight I'm in the microscopy suite here at UCSB and today I will be making a very small play button on this monster of a machine. Technically, it's called the FEI Helios Dual Beam Nano Lab 600 but we just call it the FIB. So I'm here on a Friday evening because that's basically the only time that this machine is free of people doing actual real research on it that I don't want to interrupt. Normally, it's used for preparing samples for transmission electron microscopy. That's what I normally use it for. The first play button that I made uh, for the channel is a piece of PLA plastic that I spray painted red to look rather YouTube-y, but this was made on a 3D printer. And the second play button that I did was made with a CNC mill. So instead of being an additive manufacturing technique, it was a subtractive manufacturing technique. This thing is both a 3D printer, a CNC mill, and a welder, really. But instead of making, you know, macroscopic scale objects, it makes things on the tiniest of length scales. The play button that I make today, this entire board, is only going to be about 20 micrometers across. It's small enough that you won't be able to resolve any detail on this sheet without an electron microscope. The good news is that this thing has an electron microscope built in. This entire top section of the device is the electron gun that shoots a beam down onto the sample and allows us to image it. Pumping down. If you can hear that, that's the pumps going on in the other room. This entire box is actually a vacuum chamber and uh, it would not function if there was air inside. So the chamber is pumped out enough. We need to turn on the electron beam, which is going to give us an image up here. Oh, once I turn it on, there we go. So that is what we can see with the electron microscope. There's one. Oh yeah, this is gonna work. So the first thing we need to do here is actually tilt the stage so that the ion gun is pointed directly into the sample surface. I can make this thing spin around. And there we are, now we're looking at the face. So that flake of copper right there is what we're depositing this on. All right, so I'm gonna pattern over here and we should be able to see it in the electron microscope view over here. It says it'll take 25 seconds. That actually looks like a thing up there. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay. Uh, oh, that's almost legible, and that was the very first attempt. While I'm trying to get the machine completely dialed in the way I want it, I figured that I would come down and show you what is actually happening to the material on the nanoscale inside of this machine. First off, I'm standing on a very smooth, thin sheet of copper, and that's actually what I'm going to deposit the play button on top of. So the other play buttons have been basically on a wooden backing with a raised play button. And I'm going to make this, except it's going to be sitting on top of a sheet of copper. If I tried to make it standalone, uh, I'd lose it because it would be too small. So it basically has to be stuck to something. This machine is technically called the dual beam because there are actually two separate columns that both shoot charged particles at the sample surface. The first of which is the electron gun, the electron beam, and that's what you're using to see me right now. That's the electron microscope part. And how electron microscopes actually work is a more complicated topic for a separate video. But for right now, just imagine that you are looking out of a camera that is basically looking out of where the electron gun is shooting from. The other column that shoots charged particles towards the surface is actually the ion gun, and that shoots gallium ions from directly above me straight down onto the sample. Now, FIB actually stands for focused ion beam because the ion beam is the workhorse of this system. Most microscopes do not come equipped with a gun capable of shooting gallium ions at 300 kilometers per second into your sample. 
surprising exactly no one when you shoot individual atoms at 300 kilometers per second into a solid surface. That surface does not in fact escape unscathed. As the focused ion beam moves around the surface, it actually carves away material. And it's right now it's etching the channel logo and the subscriber banner into the copper surface around me. I mentioned that this was like really absurdly precise. For reference, the O right here in Phoenix, the line width of that O is only about 250 atoms across. This is really small. So now I'm about to attempt depositing the play button itself, like the, the raised part, physically the play button. And that's going to require an extra tool, the Platinum GIS, which stands for Platinum Gas Injection System. This needle dropping towards the sample actually supplies a trace amount of a platinum containing gas into the chamber. The needle output looks huge, but it's actually microscopic. Remember that we're in an electron microscope. What, what is this thing? Uh, it is methyl cyclopentadienyl trimethyl platinum. <laughs> the molecule looks kind of like this, and it's basically a single platinum atom enveloped in this huge organic mess that causes it to float around like a gas instead of a chunk of metallic platinum. If one of those platinum containing molecules comes drifting by and happens to stick to the surface at the same time as one of the gallium bullets from the ion gun hits, the energy released by the impact in the form of high energy electrons actually breaks the organic molecule off of the platinum so the platinum can stick to the surface. Instead of cutting material away with the ion beam, now we're actually depositing material on the surface, one platinum atom at a time. And that's the 3D printing part of this machine. And yeah, if you hadn't noticed by this point, this play button is actually going to be platinum. I thought that that might be for more than 4,000 subs, but it's actually kind of an amorphous slurry of like platinum and carbon atoms that are left over from all those organic molecules that got shredded earlier. So maybe it's really like a dirty charcoal platinum play button. Anyway, let's get back up to human scale. You can certainly read it. Two to the 12. Oh yeah, okay, now we're cooking with gas. Let's see, let's drop this right over here. That looks like a nice flat bit. 